what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? CNN's Don Lemon used the word racist to describe Donald Trump, your president, on more than one occasion. The first time he called Trump a racist publicly was on his CNN Tonight Show in January, following reports that Donald Trump had called Haiti and some African nations shithole countries. The president of the United States is a racist. A lot of us already knew that, Don Lemon said. Then on Friday, Don took it a step further and told an audience at Variety's Entertainment and Technology Summit in New York it was his obligation as a journalist to have done so. It's tough when you have more respect for the office than the person who's sitting in the office, Lemon said. Do y'all understand the magnitude of those words? He said that it was tough when you have more respect for the office, the office, not even a living thing, than the president, the person who sits in the office. He ain't even worth the office. He's not even worth more than the office itself. As Don Lemon said, if you have evidence that shows you, that indicates, that leads you to nothing else but the president being a racist, well, damn, the president is a racist. He can't help himself, though. I mean, it's hard for people, any kind of people, to change who they are. Let's face it, man. That's what he is. That's what he is. What I don't understand is that when you are who you are and that's what you practice being and somebody tell you that's what you are, why even get offended? Because obviously that's what you want to be, right? Because you could change anytime you wanted to. So he obviously enjoys being a racist. I mean, he got it, honestly. His mama was a racist. His daddy was a racist. His grandparents were racist, especially his granddaddy. His granddaddy got popped at a Klan's, mem uh, a Klan's uh, meeting once, where it actually was a rally in New York City. That's documented. It's in the paper. Got him on the front page of the newspaper in New York. So he's used to this Klan environment. He's used to Klan ideology. You know, he's used to sitting around the table while his daddy and his uncles and his daddy friends talk about discrimination against black people and other people of color. He used to that. He used to them sitting around talking about going out to hang somebody. That's what they do. That's what racists do. You know, they partake in interference. They run interference, you see? That's their whole game. And they racists are some of the biggest haters. They just rig like GP haters. General purpose. They GP or haters. They see somebody else doing good that don't have their background and they just hate off the rip. Ooh, why does he have that? Why does he have that girl? You know, why does he have the pretty girl? Why does he have the nice car? Why is his house bigger than mine? Because he worked for it, fucker. That's why. Yeah, they don't like that. They don't like that realness. They say they talk, they like to talk about being real, but they don't like realness. They like to talk about people working hard, but when you have somebody that work hard and you have somebody that go out there and get themselves educated, you have somebody that live a productive, healthy, positive life, they'll find something wrong with that too if that person is not pushing their agenda. See, as long as you buck dancing, Selling out, regurgitating white supremacist talking points, you're good. Thumbs up. But no matter how many times you say 
I love you, Donald Trump. I love Donald Trump. Trump will never tell you I love you back. I'm still waiting on it. That's like having sex with a woman or if you're a woman, you're having sex with a man and that person say, I love you. And you don't say, I love you back. You know what that mean? Hey, I don't love you. Fool out there running around talking about I love Donald Trump. Trump ain't said I love you back yet. That's the name of the game. I'm not surprised by Donald Trump. I'm not surprised at all by his antics. He is who he is. This is Trump's America. Divided and bitter. Now, Look at here at my notes here, because I was going to save this for after I move out of the country, and I was going to read this little short message to y'all, but I think I'm going to read it now. Yeah, I was going to read this like when I moved back out of the country for a second time, but I'm going to go ahead on and drop it on y'all right now, because I really do believe America needs this message. Here we go. Dear United States, your country is quickly and surely going down a dark hole where only bitterness, vitriol, and hate reside. It is a sad sight to behold. I wish you all love, peace, and wisdom. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.